Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my technical Minecraft let's play. In the previous episode we built the tree farm as you can see right here and I've been doing some if you can get it I've went through three iron axes by now and by and through a couple stacks of bone meal uh, actual bones so I think it was somewhere around 15 stacks of bone meal and I've gathered up this much wood from it and I'm using iron axes just because I have an infinite amount of iron and uh, actual small finite amount of diamonds because I haven't been doing much mining uh, since the gold farm but today what I'm going to be building is uh, the storage area which is really needed because the iron is starting to fill up all the chests and I can't really AFK at the mob farm since I only have one chest there to store so if you didn't watch the previous episode all I did was down here dig out an area and this is where the storage will be so uh, let me get some things prepared and I'll be back Okay, so I prepared some things I need for the first part of the storage area and that's the mob farm. So what I want to do is actually have the items drop down into a hole and then get transferred to the storage area and instead of just running hoppers down to it I decided I want them dropped uh, with the dropper and I did the math and everything should be okay even if I use like um, a 5 tick uh, clock it should still uh, spit out all the item that the mob farm produces since that would equal to uh, 4 items per second which would equal to 24 uh, 240 items per minute which would then equal to around 18 15,000 items per hour and this farm I think it ideal scenario produces around 13,000 items per hour so what I'll have to do now is actually um, empty this chest out and I'll do this off camera and actually look at what well okay I'll, I'll just get some things ready and of course I slept there and broke the bed so I spawned on top of the titan okay so I'll be back in a sec okay so I'm back uh, up here uh, never mind the previous accident but yeah, now I've already placed the dropper and a lot of items have already gathered in, so it, I really want to get it set up as fast as possible. And what I think I'll do is just... Red no, wait, I'll need a repair here. A block here, block here, redstone here. That makes it tick. And then... I think I'll just put it like here because I don't yeah okay 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 stop and now what I have to do is place the glass here and then here so that uh, the least amount of items actually get lost and I'll probably do this on the other side actually since uh, I can then block this off making it a little more effective and like this okay so this should be spitting out items down there you just need a couple items to see if it actually worked and let's go sleep and then I'll see you down there if everything is correct okay so I'm down here I actually connected the redstone back up to see how the items are actually falling and I can already see that some items are uh, a bit off so I'll need to actually put more blocks down to just make sure that the items fall down to 
uh, that area, not the blocks around it. And then I can actually set up the hoppers and start building the sorters down there. Okay, so let me uh, fix what I've done wrong and then I'll be back. Okay, so I installed a bit more blocks uh, to that so that the items wouldn't be uh, falling away, uh, falling around the hole, but as you can see that's still happening, so what I'll have to do is either put water string streams, which I'm not uh, very fond of, or I'll just have to uh, make the glass pillar all the way up, which will probably be the solution that I'm going to go for. Since I think that will look the cleanest, then I'll just use regular glass because I don't really want to deal with the, with the color selection. So what I'll do now is actually install the, the glass pillars so that the items won't uh, miss the collection area and then I'll be back. There we go, the glass uh, chamber is now in place so that the items fall down uh, in the correct sp uh, spot and now what I'll have to do is actually set up the storage so what I want to do is have the chest uh, in such a way so that I can uh, access all of them from one spot so as you can see I can access every chest but uh, I do need to craft some trap chests to put in between but for now I'll just place the normal uh, chest and then later on install the extra ones so what do you, what drops do I get? I get gunpowder rod and flash, bones, arrow, string and then other things yeah, I think that uh, that should be everything. Unless I'm forgetting something. Oh, I will go over that uh, once I'm building the filters, but for now this should do. And then once the chest will, will fill up, I will just repeat the, the thing here. Uh, right here, and I can infinitely expand it because the hoppers will come from there and go down there. And I can do the same thing with Ann. So now let me uh, let me run the hoppers. So I'll need to run them from there, there, and then back. And then I'll be back once I'm ready to install the filters. Okay, so the hoppers are now installed into the correct place, hopefully. And I've also crafted the trap chests, uh, as you can see. I did the math on how many chests I need so that I can actually place them down. So let's see, the middle is here, two blocks, so the chests will be here. Okay, and, and I'm sorry for not doing this uh, off camera, I completely forgot about this. Because I was more focused on the actual hopper placement and how I'm going to sort the items out and yeah that's not good okay so I, I don't think I overlooked any items so there's uh, there's five main types and then the drops that which that witches drop and I'm going to sort that by just extending it out here and then looping it back and adding filters along there all feeding into the same chest so hopefully that idea will work but now I can uh, place the chest oh, do I have any building blocks yeah, that, that's it okay so I need trap chests now and I'm just doing that so that I make sure that I didn't uh, craft too few of them and it looks like I did uh, all the calculations correct. Oh wait, 
Okay, so I crafted way too many normal chests, but well, that's good. That means I will be able to convert them into hoppers if need be, because I've already went through the six or seven stacks of oak wood that I've uh, gathered during episodes, uh, in between episodes. So the top is here, which means I'll need blocks on this level. And if I could see anything, and I don't have torches on me, so that doesn't make it any easier. Uh, okay, so here I have prepared everything. So if I could just place blocks now, it would be super easy. Okay, so let's run the... Uh, right here should be the last one. And I'll figure this one out off camera because it's a bit uh, complicated. Uh, damn, my inventory is awful. Okay. And now one more block and then we can go down a block. If that uh, will be possible. So you run them like this, like this. You you've probably already all seen how um, item sorters work, and this one's just the overflow protection one. Can I place like a redstone torch somewhere? Okay. Uh, let's jump down and uh, repeater there, block there, and then. Redstone torch there, powering that block locking. Okay, so it looks good. So let's do that, and then I will add ingots in it. As you can see, I renamed them so that uh, nothing can actually go there. And I just named them sort me so that I don't forget what it's about. Okay, building on camera is awful. So let let me just do this off camera and I'll add the filters in and out and then I'll be back. And there we go. I have now installed the filters and added the uh, I've installed the filters and added the items that I want uh, filtered. As you can see there are four iron ingots in here renamed so that even if I drop some regular iron in here it won't break it and then there's 41 items in each except for Bones, yeah, except for bones because I just don't have enough because I use all of them for bone meal. Uh, but now what I have to do is just uh, run hoppers from here to the Iron Titan and remove those chests there. I don't need any filters on this side since uh, there's only iron coming in here, which will make it a lot easier and a lot uh, smaller. So. Uh, let me dig out the area and I'll be back. Okay, so the hoppers for the chests are now in place. But I don't have enough hoppers to actually connect the, the chests uh, to the to the Iron Titan. As you can see I only have 28 left and this is quite a long uh, way to actually get to where I want to be and then this way so what I'll have to do now is actually go AFK again at the tree farm and I've been AFK at the mob farm just to test if it works and it worked uh, uh, excellent all the, all the drops got uh, to the correct chest and uh, they all got that I, I guess so now let me get some more wood so that I can actually make the hoppers and connect uh, the storage to the titan. Okay so I've gathered all the hoppers that I need and might I just say that I've used a lot of hoppers this episode. Uh, quite a couple stacks of them actually and that actually takes a lot of wood. So good thing I have the tree farm but there's something weird with it, the uh, dispenser that uh, bone meal is the sapling sometimes just doesn't work 
despite him getting constant poses of redstone, uh, which means I have to reset the farm every now and then. So I'll probably just look into that and see if there's a fix, or if that's just uh, a bug in Minecraft. And then it should be great, so do I even have enough hoppers? Oh damn, I might not have enough. Okay, that's not good. So, let's just see how many more I will need. Here should be the end of uh, this. Oh yeah, I definitely don't have enough. Okay. So I'll need to craft like 20 more, I think. Somewhere around that. And if you... Uh, so, like that's... Oh yeah, I'm gonna need quite a bit more actually. So right here is the Titan and I'm just gonna run the hoppers down there and f connect it all together and then I'll be back. There we go, it's now connected and it's sucking out the uh, Oda and it's in the hoppers and now it will take over all the flow from now on. So that's good, we can go and check if it actually works now by going to the base and seeing if the chests are filling up with iron. So I did find uh, a bunch of wood in the chests uh, below the titan, so I just used those to craft the remaining chest that I need. So now let's go and see if this works. No it doesn't, okay. See that that's not what I was expecting. Okay, that means I probably placed one hopper uh, wrong. Which means I'll have to go through all the hoppers and find the one that's not placed correctly. Okay, so let me do this off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, I think I found the problem. It's this, the redstone torch. So, yeah, now iron is flowing so let me just place it here and yes I'm still using redstone torches for lighting okay I just haven't had the time to craft normal torches okay so let's go back and see if the iron is now actually storing and I actually went through all the hoppers before figuring out the the fact that the redstone torch was blocking a hopper so that that was good Okay, let's hope it's a it's actually working now. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, I got worried for a bit. Okay, I think that's good. Why did it stop now? Oh, okay, okay. So it works uh, perfectly now, I guess. And I will be able to extend it as far out as I need in the future. And now I actually have a storage system, that's really good, so now I can actually AFK at the uh, farms and get materials without uh, fearing that it will overflow. Huh. Okay, so I think that's where I'm gonna ac actually end the episode, so if you enjoyed, please do give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one.